right, let's get closer to home now with tonight's top story. Shaky grades for the state's infrastructure. Old roads and bridges pushed engineers to slap New York State with a C- minus overall. It's part of a report card of sorts meant to highlight the need to fix and replace the critical pieces of life we expect to work every day. Whether it's the flow of traffic or the flow of water, there are things we just take for granted every day. We expect them to work. And engineers are warning New Yorkers something needs to be done to keep those things working. People talk about how we spend money or don't spend money on infrastructure, and there's a cost of doing nothing. Enter the report card. The American Society of Civil Engineers tasked a team with grading New York State's aging infrastructure, and the results aren't encouraging. New York's drinking water system got a C. Bridges a D plus, wastewater a D. Roads are at the bottom of the list with a D minus. The group claims rough roads and traffic congestion cost the state $6.3 billion a year. That's $504 per Albany driver. It means that they have to acknowledge that there's an issue and that we really need to invest in the future of this uh, infrastructure because it serves us every day. So how do you pay for the changes to keep old water mains from bursting or bridges from crumbling? It's very hard to convince the public to go out and borrow a million dollars to bury a pipe underground. Lawmakers say getting taxpayers on board with bankrolling repairs is tricky. There are grant programs out there for cities, villages, and towns, and we already pay a state gas tax. The problem the problem is only about a quarter of the billions of dollars that goes into a dedicated fund for highways and bridges actually gets spent on capital construction. Drivers in New York have some of the highest gas taxes yep, exactly. in the country. Where's right. that money going? Well the, other, well, the thing is, what people don't realize, and it's a good thing, is that we've improved the standards, environmental standards, particularly for all construction projects. And I think that plays a large role. I certainly would support changing our tax structure in ways that would fund the improvement of our infrastructure. Legislators say they'll take a hard look at where the money is going and where it needs to go. But engineers warn the costs are only rising as time rolls on. It's not necessarily that our, our elected representatives are complacent. They know the issues. They need the support of the public. Now, late today, the Department of Transportation responded to the report card telling us that the DOT is constantly inspecting the state's roads and bridges and is strategically repairing them. In fact, I'm told this year's state budget has a number of programs spending billions of dollars to get New York back on track. By the way, no state in the country got an A on this test, and the national average stands at a D+. Plus. There are many other factors on this report card to pass along. To see it all for yourself, all you got to do is download our CBS 6 News app, free for the iPhone and Android. Just search WRG.